I ate for calling my sill a racist after she compared my cooking to making Kung Pao chicken? TLDR at bottom for context. I've been married to my wife for approximately 10 years and we're a mixed race couple. I'm Asian and she's Caucasian. I've gotten along with her family, Mill, Bill, Sill, but I always felt like her Phil and other Sill, Sarah, never liked me. I'm a professionally trained chef with 15 plus years of experience and I work at a high-end Chinese restaurant, a spin-off of a popular one in Beijing, in a large US city. My crew and I have won several awards, and I've been explicitly told I'll be the next executive chef. Sarah is also a professionally trained chef and works at a popular upscale French restaurant in the city. She constantly brags about it and, no joke, compares herself out loud to Ramsay and Bourdain. Whenever I'm at my mill and FIL's house and helping out in the kitchen, Sarah is always criticizing everything I do. Whether it's chopping, braising, marinating, etc., she always butts in with comments like um, I think you should actually do X like this. I've been patient for my wife and sidestepping those comments, saying things like thanks, but I think I'll stick to the way I do it. Things came to a head two weeks ago. When my wife, Phil, Mill, and I were in her parents' kitchen prepping dinner for my MIL's birthday. We were running a bit behind so things were heated, which I kind of liked because it reminded me of work, and that's when Sarah walked in. She took one look at what I was doing, scoffed, and said something like oh wow, okay, so that's not the right way of doing things. It hit a nerve and I pretty sternly told her to stop criticizing my cooking and that I'm also a chef like her. She laughed and said making Kung Pao chicken at some Chinese restaurant doesn't count. The kitchen went silent, Phil snorted, chuckled, and my mill yelled Sarah what is wrong with you? I stopped what I was doing, swore at her and called her a racist piece of shit, apologized to my mill for not being able to stay, and left for home with my wife. Apparently this caused a massive fight after we left, with my mill, Bill, other sill taking my side and my Phil, Sarah saying it was a joke but kind of true and that I was being too sensitive. The extended family somehow got wind of this and now everyone is arguing and taking sides. With my wife even getting texts from some her cousins apologizing for Sarah's behavior. Despite being on my side, my wife is begging me to apologize so that the fighting will stop but I refuse to because fuck Sarah and her blatant racism. I Ada? TLDR. I'm a chef working at upscale Chinese resto. My sill is a chef at upscale French resto. She's critical of my cooking skills and has now called it making Kung Pao chicken at a Chinese restaurant. Family at war. Wife begging me to apologize. What do? Edit. My wife has also informed me that now Sarah may be in trouble at work and she's blaming me for it. Apparently one of her co-workers heard her rant about what happened and reported it to management. Edit. To clarify Sarah is blaming me, though my wife is partly blaming me. EDIT2. Update. So it looks like one of my wife's cousins found this post and put it on Sarah's Facebook wall going this is you right? Her FB friends are starting to comment with things like if this is you Sarah then I'm disappointed. I think Sarah is still at work shit might be hitting the fan soon and now my wife is pissed too. Will. Try to update but might have to delete post if things go nuclear edit 3, update 2. Was considering removing but I just got a voicemail from my Phil that my presence was only being tolerated up until this point and threatened a world of hurt if I didn't delete this post. Officially going to keep this post up and if you're still reading this Doug I'm very disappointed in you. You're better than this. We'll also continue to update and thanks again for all your support folks edit 4, update 3. Lots of stuff just went down my wife got a call from Sill. From wife's paraphrasing, Sarah started screaming, crying at her the moment my wife picked up and said that she just got demoted because of her Asian slur husband. Apparently some of her co-workers have her on FB and showed the post to management, which combined with her earlier rant, double whammied her back to being a line cook and now she might get fired. My wife told her to go fuck herself and is now solidly on my side after taking the verbal abuse from Sarah and reading some of the comments here. My wife is still the opposite of happy though. Wife called Mill and asked her. WTF was going on with Phil. Mill was confused so my wife played back the voicemail I had on my phone and apparently my Mill literally just walked away from the phone without hanging up and started screaming at Phil. Facebook post has now devolved into a clusterfuck flame war with family and friends jumping in. Suffice to say, it has officially gone nuclear me right now I think I'm going to have to call this a day, we'll make an update post when the dust settles.
Thanks again folks edit 5, update 4. Turns out I'm not allowed to post an update post for some reason. No, you provided all your updates in the original post with your many, many edits. You can edit this in, but we will not be allowing a standalone update on this. I'd like to clarify that I got my wife and MIL's permissions to post this update. Out respect for them and their privacy. Suffice to say, it's been kind of nuts this past week. My wife and I had to turn off social media for a bit because of the shitstorm caused by her cousin putting my last post on Sarah's Facebook page. Some people even tried to call the restaurant. I work it to get me fired as retribution, but luckily everyone there is 100% on my side, or as my boss put it fuck. Sarah. Fuck those racists. Fuck them so goddamn much. I guess it didn't help them that half the calls involved threats, screaming, and more racial slurs. We didn't hear any updates from her family, even though we assumed the shit met fan after Mill found out about FIL's threatening voicemail, still disappointed in you Doug. But that changed on Sunday night, when Mill suddenly showed up at our door with overnight bags. After we took a moment to help unpack and calm down, she spilled the beans on everything. Phil, aka Doug. Apparently my Mill and Phil were already having trouble in their marriage, and it was only made worse with a certain 2016 presidential election. She's a Dem, and he had apparently gone more far right since then. Seems that a line was crossed with the Kung Pao incident in his voicemail. When he refused to apologize for anything, typical Doug, she asked for a divorce and he went berserk. She didn't feel safe there so that's when she came over, other. Bill and Sill live out of town. Extended family, aka the Great FB War of 2021. You may have been able to tell already, but the extended family was largely arguing, fighting, divided along political lines for a few years now and my cousin's FB post was likely just the light to set off the powder keg. According to my mill, the fallout has allegedly already led to some breakups, excommunication of some family members, and even an argument that ended with police involvement. Haven't verified this myself though. Sarah Sill according to my mill, Sarah came over to her place on Friday. The writing was on the wall and she was basically forced to quit. Despite her trying to start from scratch as a line cook, the entire staff turned against her. Nothing was coming back from the dish pit for her and she was getting the cold shoulder. She's a great chef, I will admit this is true, but they took no chances since it turns out, shit you not, they're partly owned by a Chinese investment company. Found this hard to believe and didn't want to add this detail, but it turned out to be true after. Some research, won't say any further for privacy. Word also got around in the local industry, and Sarah is essentially blacklisted from high-end establishments. She's now considering selling her home and moving to find work. As much as I don't like her and found her behavior horrifying, I didn't intend for this to happen so I've reached out to some buds in other states to see if they had any openings. Whether or not she wants to take Idis up to her, and no, she has not apologized for anything either but I still want to be a decent person to her. It sure as hell doesn't feel like a happy ending. Perhaps bittersweet justice, but that's all I can give you. Thank you all for your support and for reading. Still me right now.